Yeah, so this morning we start with a few questions about how to raise awareness about the boundary, how do we facilitate communication, how do we lower the barrier to say no, how do we practice about it. And I'm very surprised that today many people come to chat about the project because at first I thought I kind of am like run them into the hackathon because this is such a like a low tech, like I, I, in my imagination. So I'm very surprised that people are kind of interested about this and they want to come to hear about something. And I'm, I'm sorry to say that I, I didn't add this contributor section early enough. So I so please come in and put your name on there if you talk with me, if you want to put something in there. And uh, so I think like this morning we chat many interesting things. Like we chat about, um, for the first point, how to rear awareness. We talk about how can we, what kind of scenario, simulated scenario can we provide it to help people think about um, Think, of, think about the situation. And like in this part, we also went to check the like, uh, like sexual gender education in the school system. And they have this really weird video, like real, weird animation about like um, for elementary school kids, like they go to neighborhood and there's a big brother, like, like told them to take off their pants and so they can play video games and they will be touching their genital or something. And the school will teach them like, when you meet this kind of situation, shout, run, and tell your teacher about it. Like this, just like really weird. And we realized that when we are kids in our educational system, they always teach this kind of extreme cases. Like when it's really a bad person doing like a parent's bad thing to you. But in our daily life, we don't really meet so much extreme cases. Most of the time we meet some kind of gray area Maybe you go out on a date. On the second date, they touch you on the air, and you didn't expect to be touched yet. This kind of gray area is the part we want to touch uh, in our project. So, like, um, yeah, we talk a lot about like how can we um, have write fictional or act or, or collect actual cases of scenario for people to imagine. Like, if you are in the scenario, how would you feel? What kind of emotion? Will you feel inside, and how would you imagine you will react in this kind of a situation? So this might help you to um, kind of explore your imaginary um, boundary. And also, um, yeah. So in the end, like I think uh, this is kind of a summary. I sum up myself. Like I think there are three type of toolkit we want to develop. One is called a huise ganigaka, like a gray card, like scenario in this gray area. So like this is what we talk about, like scenario card, like you can like diff maybe like five or 10 scenario, you can check and you can see how, do you, you can write down like how do you feel, or maybe you can do this as a group, as a small workshop. You can share with each other like how would you feel or how do you react. And other people can also share in the scenario how would they feel and how would they react. And also the second kind of card is like practice to say no. And we talk about like in this Mandarin um, language and in this English, like English language, no is actually kind of different. English is like no, very uh, simple, very straightforward. But in the Mandarin, it's kind of strange because um, like how do you say no in Mandarin? You don't really say just say fu, or you don't say just say fu yao. Like maybe you will say ba nie so na tai, nie so bi yao pong wo. And then when you put you, me, at the beginning as the subject. It's actually a very um, strong word, strong sentence. It's causing a lot of like conflict, emotional conflict. So it's like feel very tense. So like in this kind of type of car, we want to figure out maybe there's a different way to say no. Maybe a one way is to say like, um, I'm feeling weird, can we talk? Or uh, my boundary is, uh, I don't think we, you should be touching my ear now. Or I don't think we should be touching each other on a second date yet. So then can we talk about our boundaries? So maybe there are other ways in Mandarin context to say no, to say a lot, uh, to talk about, uh, talk about refuse, talk about no. And also we talk about practicing because a lot of things happen in discussion, in imagination, but it's different in the real world. Like we say an example is like you go to those like function to like martial art classes. But when you actually meet a bad guy, you, your body cannot react to that because all you learn is practicing. You don't really use it. So
So like we want to say, how can you really practice no in your daily life? So we, de we think we can design five levels of refusal. Like the first level, level one, is the like most risk averse, like low risk. Like when you walk on the street, people give you like this flyers, people at, like Greenpeace come to you and say, do you want to sign <laughs> this? They say, no, sorry, not interested. Or you can practice different ways. Like first time you can just ignore them, second time you can say no, third time you can say fuck off, like fourth time you can uh, go away. Like you can just try different ways to say no. And maybe we haven't figured out what, but we think maybe there are different like level two, level three, level four, like harder and harder. So you can gradually improve and you can become like um, enjoying or manipulating this risk and not getting hurt. So I think the third part is like, I want to talk. This is like when you actually in this interaction, you feel uncomfortable, you can have this car. Like you say, one is for yourself, just like some reminder for yourself, what can you say, you, uh, it's already written down. So you can just say it out. You don't need, to, when you are froze, you can just take this out. This is kind of, I also want to, I, personally I want to design of this, you know this Hongse red like Fu Shen Fu, this red charm, like we know like Taiwanese, like we always wear this on here. You can just like take it out and read it. And also the other one's for the other person, just like show it to them. Maybe it writes like, I'm feeling weird right now, let's talk. And this, this could be like promoted or something like, when you see this card, when someone gives you this card, stop and read and talk. Like when we can do this kind of promotion, they will know when they see this card, it means something serious. You shouldn't do anything before you talk to them. So that's all we talked about today. Like um, when in the afternoon we talked about maybe you should make some small prototype, but then we got really sleepy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in, in the end we, we, we end up with this. Thank you everyone. <laughs>